playing together or something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Especially recently, they've been uh, they've been playing with Isaiah, um, yeah. Kimmy, and uh, I believe Hydra as well. I've been uh, going over to uh, maybe Isaiah's place. So I'm not quite and, sure. And we and know Isaiah has a killer Mario, so this is yeah, definitely some good notes to be added. Being, yeah, trained by the best. And is Kimmy Mario now the best uh, solo Mario? Oh, I would probably say so. Yeah. Uh, so uh, you know, exclusively Mario, Mario main even. Yeah. Um, in the United States, for sure, I would say that. No. Um, outside of US, is definitely yeah. a story. We'll see if uh, if his Mario can actually stand up to Taco's Yoshi. Mm -hmm. One of the scariest things you can do here. I think oh, Mario does really well in this matchup. Mario, one of his best approaches is with down air. It's not, I mean, that's where he gets a, so much reward off of. It's not an Definitely, amazing yeah. approach by any means, but... Even there are a couple hits of down air into yeah. up smash. Like. You, you cannot parry all those hits of down air, and yeah. that's yeah. where that's what makes Mario pretty good in this matchup. Ooh, that movement down he could have been tacos. up there either, too, but, you know, pick and choose. Taco's definitely known for some of the more creative options. Yeah. Plays. It's always been uh, interesting to see kind of uh, how uh, Mario Yoshi changes across different uh, uh, across different levels of play as well. And at this level, it's very very interesting to see. Taco's a little bit different than what we saw from Wizrobe. Uh, I think he definitely considered one of, if not the most aggressive Yoshi's at top Absolutely. level. Yeah, he's just yeah. always going in, and it seems like it always works. Fire. Yeah. He definitely yeah. seems more confident in his uh, in his attacks than sometimes we even see from uh, from Wizard. But obviously, we see Wizard in, uh, in the corner a lot of times playing Kirby, so that's a tough life. Taco's looking sharp, there. and this will close out game that's one. Be game one so quick in yeah. under two minutes. The punish game was just there. It was just on point. Pretty much every time he touched Kimimaru, he was dying. And, and his, uh, his brother Hydra approached yeah. the stage. And it to, wasn't uh, even true combo, shield break, stuff like that. It was just. Such good setups on the platforms and then follow-ups that just shut you down. Um, yeah, definitely. Yeah. And it seems that he has such a such fluent control over uh, where he's going to be when your options, uh, you know, your invincibility runs up, whether it's yeah. a, a tech or coming back from spawn and, and all that. He's definitely um, he's got that intuition, I believe. And we see the coaching from Hydra there. The twin brother also plays Mario. It's so funny to me. It's like. Uh, with well, my Mario's siblings, stuff, together, yeah, yeah, it's like, but when I siblings, I would always want to set myself apart, especially yeah. as a twin. You'd want to set yourself apart. It's like, yeah. now we just both like Mario. I'm pretty yeah, sure they, they play the they same color. It so you know, uh, beautifully. It's, it's great. Yeah. Both, yeah, both red Mario. <laughs> um, I mean, how they differ is, is only, uh, in my opinion, slightly in play style. Yeah, <laughs> they, they definitely take notes of each other and all that stuff. And it's cool let's see. see if he could give him some advice. Oh, that Di though. Maybe Hydra is a little better at the Yoshi matchup than Kimimaro, and Kimimaro excels in other ways. Uh, let's see if the advice given is enough to help at least make it a little more competitive because that first game was a blowout. Ooh, up air, up smash, yeah. I think that, um, you know, skill level aside, I think that uh, it's always good to get a reminder of kind of what you've learned in the past and mm -hmm. uh, who better than a brother that you've trained with so long to uh, remind you where you came from and remind you what to do sometimes. Good lunch, Hawk and Tacos. It's gonna even it right back up. Well, we saw this in the last game too, where uh, Kimi Mario did get that up smash KO in the beginning of the game, but then Tacos after that just never let anything fly. Yeah, it seems to uh, to find the find the factor and shut it down pretty easily. Kimi was up percent there. Good option coverage with the down air. It also yeah, racks down a decent amount of damage. Sleep jump, yep. dunk, forward air. Texture from Kimmy, but uh, smart to back away there. He's got ledge. Good space in there. Kimmy definitely known for his uh, trying to enter with fireballs, mm -hmm. but uh, unfortunately, against Yoshi, doesn't Gary. seem to care about uh, any of his hits. And that's where we saw Mario not approach with down air. He approaches with a single hit move that can oh, be that parried. And, tilt yeah, forward. and he got grabbed for it and then set up off stage to get edge guarded. Well, we see another three stock from Tacos. Oh, good counter from Mario. No. Egg descending. Ooh. Close near. Good tech chase there. Can you follow it up again? No. Seeing a lot of parries out of Tacos, though. Oh, went for the forward air. Good up, you know. Yeah, good presence of mind. He did not have a large window for that, and Mario does have a little bit of invincibility there. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that was. Oh. But, Mario um, in a bad spot. Saves the tornado. Won't be able to get back. 
Not a three stock, so he's making some progress. Definitely. Yeah. Oh. It has seemed that Tacos has not let up with having the, the momentum in his favor, though, and that was almost a shield break himself. Yeah. He needed uh, that. Air, and he knew he, knew he knew he needed that to yeah, yeah. Um, get something started. But yeah, absolutely. He's, uh, I think Kimmy's definitely seems to be uh, understanding it a little bit better mentally, but uh, his execution needs to kind of mm -hmm. to rise up a little bit. And, you know, honestly, seeing Mario against Yoshi like that, it's, uh, it's a tough one. A lot of this is the neutral too, because you may, you might, he might be more used to a Wizard Rogue style Yoshi slow. Exactly, um, yeah. It gives and, you a lot of time to think. Converts less aggressively. When it comes to Tacos, he's um, kind of playing outside your zone, and as soon as you try something with him, he's uh, ready there to just reverse it on you instantly. So no time um, to think and no room to breathe. Exactly, yeah. yeah. You've committed by you've committed once you hit him, and well, he's already armoring and waiting to uh, to counterattack. So. Taco's uh, noticing close up, those are actually taco designs on his shirt. <laughs> Great shirt. Hopping here into game three. Taco's Showing off his parry. Happy to do some parry practice. Oh, and now he he's, messed he's it done. up. Now he's done. He wants to approach. Let's see if we see Kimi Mono take the first stock once again. He wants to set up something on these platforms. Great follow up. He knew yeah. that he was going to tech first. That down smash did break, but he doesn't go anywhere. I think that's. I heard one of them. It, one Going of the Mario Twins' his signature is the down smash. The other one's the up smash. Yeah. So um, great back there, by the way. Still yeah. the first stock hasn't been touched and took the first stock, but um, Kimi Mario is known for his uh, his up smashes that seem at, entirely out of the blue. And um, Hydra's property will be for the down smash, but okay. But they, I feel like thing. they've been he crossing over a bit more. Perhaps, yeah. Seems that uh, if he's getting advice from Hydra, maybe he's telling him to down smash some more. Just down smash. He's good escape. Kimmy seems to be putting a little bit more um, effort into having that positional control. Mm -hmm. Staying on the side platform, jumping to the top platform. But Mario's air mobility isn't all there, and he's not very... Um, exactly. Yeah, he's not able to escape a lot of times. Yoshi does have the pleasure of pressuring you on the platforms, unlike... Kirby. There's a trade. Uh, Yoshi trade is, uh, with gonna the be alright with both players, but Taco's down a lot of percent. Yeah. Uh, could go either way here though. You get this edge guard. Ooh, an F smash, not good. Good Harry's jump away though. Dab. Oh that duck was critical, but still gets back though for it. You are finally taken another lead. Yeah. A lot of heavy hits though. Oh, and he gets clipped. It by all that. happened so fast. Yoshi's know, so mobile in the air with Definitely. his double jump cancels that you t you make a tech and then you're and sometimes you're just committing to dying. Just about, just, yeah. You're just like I don't even remember choosing that tech option. Excellent push from Tacos there. This combo doing all right. Can be interrupted down B. And he's uh, utilizing the downer a little bit more. Which is, I think a really good idea, especially just as a safe uh, way of moving around. These fireballs work against a lot of characters, but uh, against Yoshi, you definitely want to have as many drills as possible. And no Taco's trying to break that shield. Two very close shield breaks. Uh, this set. There you go. See, that's what I was going to mention. I was going to say that you re in this matchup, you really need to set up Yoshi in bad spots on platforms. Exactly. Um, and abuse him on his tech rolls because... Great back here. Kimmy holds the lead. Straight up on the ground. Excellent. Even in the air, Mario loses all the time, but his combos that can just set up tech traps and stuff like that, and punishes and reads, that's where you're going to find your KOs. Into forward air punishes and up smash finishers. Exactly. You, you risk it all. It's a high risk, high reward scenario. Yeah. Up that smash. Break. That's finally going to do it. Let's go. Kimmy taking game, well, taking game three, but uh, now uh, one to two. This time, Hydra coming up with a smile on his face. Both times, the first two games, it looked a little concerned. I'm just happy to see it. His bro was down, but that time, he probably used a little bit of what he told him. Remember to use up smash at the ledge. Remember yeah, to combo yeah. on the platform. That's what you're going to need. Remember Slow to it down. That armor. And yeah, he's, you know, multiple times we saw Kimmy break that armor, but he didn't go anywhere for it. Didn't mm -hmm. have that follow up there. So having more presence of mind of when to, uh, where they're going to go after that, that armor break and yep. what you can do to follow up is going to be a huge factor in this matchup. Definitely just not enough to break it. You know, he's definitely uh, there to prepare uh, your death afterwards. Quick escape from Kimmy. Ooh, excellent jump to get out of the way of that. Good counterattack. A little bit of up air baiting there. 
We saw some really good use of up air uh, in the last game there from Kimmy and good DI as well. I like the defensive up B, uh, but he's going to eat some damage for his trouble as well. And a little tricky oh. on recovery there. And Tacos misjudges the ledge and down Bs to his death. Kimron taking the lead once again. Tacos. Oh, and the raw call out. I'm not coming to you. You're just going to tornado. Well, it was kind of a suspect tornado, but Taco space just around it. You so got to wonder if he was going for up B. But, uh, you never know. Kimmy a little bit more aggressive than we've seen him. Again, that's uh, that scenario where. Oh, okay, that'll be an interesting choice. Big combo from Taco. Uh, no DI yeah, is saving Taco's him there. Will, uh, he will punish that all the way to the end. Taco's doing busy. That well, we see it. There is it is. Broken. That, that reverse up smash. Oh. And no setup there. I think he meant to do a plat job fair again to kind of pop him up and set up more combo, but Perhaps, it's like he yeah. just got forward smash. Jabbing the wrong way. Nair. Yep. Up there, Nair. Very good. Just as strong as forward air. Backer's not going to reach anything else afterwards. Yeah. You know he thought about it. Ooh, <laughs> push off about. forward tilt. Excellent presence of mind that he's going to walk towards him. Taco's holding on to three stocks. High percent, though. Um, he might die to Mario back throw. Armor will exactly. break to a this lot of moves. A, this is a scary spot to be in for Kimmy as well, but at the same time, it seemed throughout this game and throughout the last two games especially, he's uh, he's definitely changed up his game plan, adapted well, and uh, started implementing a, a new uh, new features into his gameplay. Tried to grab him there, really big punch from Taco Sport, and that Nair can get him really off far off stage. Yeah, she's still alive, but yeah, it's armor will break more time. Than do it. Yeah. Yeah, I was pushing Mario off not enough. I heard, I think I heard the Mario Tornado come out. Yeah, you can't, the, the fireball just gets beat out by Yoshi's back air. He has fireproof yeah. boots on. Ooh, oh, good DI. Good that reverse ledge DI. Taco's Great downers. Downers. down there's no follow up though. He's getting, getting a little greedy with the downers. Hopefully it doesn't uh, bite him. Down smash? And they grab again. Good knowledge there, grab him again, nope. Yeah. Down bees, and unfortunately that's going to be the set. A little overzealous. A little bit overzealous with yeah. the down bees there, yeah. I think he was uh, just considering it as one of his drills, and you know, it's unfortunately it's a high committed drill.